Hello, and this is an introduction to lime. Um, lime is a is a wonderful substance, and I cannot understand anymore why anyone is using Portland cement in building. I just can't understand. Unless you're building, I don't know, uh, a motorway bridge. But for your home, for your home, there it's um it's beyond my comprehension because lime has so many advantages. So many. Uh, it's incredibly cheap. Um, here in Spain, I think it's five euros or five or six euros for a 25 kilogram bag, which I think it cost me 10 euros in lime to do this whole, this whole cavani you'll see in a minute. Um, it, so it's incredibly cheap for one thing. It's breathable. So you don't get damp issues in your building. It's a fungicide. It's an insecticide. And it's almost carbon neutral because it only uses 25% of the fossil fuels to produce that. Portland cement does. But as it cures over time, it keeps sucking carbon back into itself. And um, over time, it becomes carbon neutral in the end. So really, there's, it's environmentally a much better option. So I cannot understand. Anyway, let me show you what you can do with lime because I think people, there are doubters out there, I know. <laughs> uh, this is lime render. You can see that's, I've made a lime render perfectly solid. And, but the difference is when you touch it, it is not cold and clammy like Portland cement. It is dry, <laughs> lovely and dry. And um, why do you want to use lime, particularly in an old building? If you have an old building, um, definitely you don't want to be using Portland cement because Portland cement's too hard. It doesn't breathe. So you get damp issues for one thing. And the Portland, the Portland cement ends up eating away at the stones. If I show you the mortar over here, my lime mortar, your mortar should always be softer than your stones because if it doesn't, that mortar then starts to eat away at the stones. So if the, particularly if you've got soft brick or sandstone or something like that, you want, well, any kind of sandstone, you want a soft mortar, um, a, a mortar that's softer than the stones, I should say. So <clears throat> Portland cement is not the way. In fact, English heritage have banned it from ancient buildings for that very reason, because it destroys the building over time. Um, then over here, you can make a paint with it. I love lime paint and so many advantages to lime paint as well, because you, um, you don't need to prep the wall each time when you want, if you just want to give it another coat, you just slap it on. It's great. It creates a really nice kind of smooth finish. That's lime paint over there as well. You can see. And you can make creeps with it, lime creep, you can make floors. You can see that's I've created a floor there out of lime creep. Um <clears throat> see it's perfectly solid. You can walk on it if you want to. And inside my cupboard here is also lime creep. And my floor. I've grouted it with all these flagstones with lime creep. I don't even I don't even know how to mix Portland cement <laughs> because I don't want it in my house. <laughs> um, once you've once you've lived in a building <laughs> which is either mud or lime, you won't go back to the Portland cement. I guarantee it because the atmosphere is completely different. It's it's dry basically, and that because the lime, what it does. So if you look at this render here. Um, what it does, it just keeps sucking, sucking the moisture out, sucking the moisture out, sucking the moisture out over time. And it uses that moisture to cure and become even harder. That's what lime does. So it's really, really amazing substance. I've also used it on my roof. <clears throat> Let's go and have a look. Hope you can see. Whoops. I've lime created these tiles onto the roof. So many, so many advantages. Now, <clears throat> if you're using this course, and if you've, if you've done any of my courses already, you'll know, but if we're using the course, then you'll see there are uh, a number of lessons. The whole course is set out so that <clears throat> people off grid can follow it and it's not difficult. Um, if you have internet issues and you need to download stuff, it's all downloadable. Uh, you've got the introduction videos, which are, show you how to mix lime, how to slake it, which kind of lime to use, 
Um, and in each different section, I've got a section on lime creed, section on lime render, lime paint, um, what else is there? Lime mortar, the whole shebang is there. And once you've done the intro videos, then you've got uh, slideshows lessons and the slideshow lessons are exactly copied in PDF format if you prefer PDF format to work with and that makes it easier to download if you're off grid. So I hope you start losing, using Lime too. Um, really, you won't be going back to Portland Cement, I guarantee it. <laughs>